Hey guys, it's Michael, and today we're going to be talking about the Beatles series iLife Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. This one is the V3. They have a V5 and a V7. Those differ by, I think it has a mop bucket or a mop system. But this one is a little bit simpler. It's actually really affordable on Amazon. I want to say it's 140 but we got it on our Amazon deals and got it for like 100 bucks. And this little thing is great. It is worth every penny, and I'm going to get into it a little bit in a second. All right. So in the box, nice construction box. And give me a second, guys. All right. Nice constructed box. Nice fancy I like. And it comes with this nice like egg carton, and the zip bag's not included. I just did that because everything was kind of random. But you got some washable EPA filters, a blue cloth, and two extra propellers to spin. And you get this brush, and you get a manual for basic basic needs is how I would explain it. Um, that's the easiest way to put it. It's not really hard to operate at all, but. That's what comes with it. Nice sturdy packaging. I wasn't really, you know, when I opened it, I didn't feel like the the product would have been compromised by any means. Um, it seemed to work very well, and it didn't. It had no scratches and dents. It was packaged very well. So, with this is the i3, there are the V3 iLife, and as you can see, it's white, has a clean button. Um, and I'm going to push this, and this is how you access your bucket, I guess you could say, for dirt. And right now you can actually see there's dirt in there. I have not cleaned it. There's the filter, so you get two extra filters. And then there's a pre-filter in here, and I'm going to open it up because I didn't know they had this until I looked at it. So there's a pre-filter, which is this nice fine mesh. So everything gets caught in here. And then the just air comes out through there. And I mean, some dust obviously goes through there because it's not perfect, but it's not like you're throwing dust around. So, you know, there's the inside. It's got a serial number and the, where the air comes up. Nothing really fancy in there. The, mop, mop, the, the V5 and the V7 will have a mop auction, which you'd put a tank in. But I don't have that model. I didn't need it. I don't think I'm ever going to need it. But if you do look into it, I, overall a great product okay so going off to the sides there's the power on off and the charge port for it if you just want to charge the machine itself when you first get it they recommend plugging the AC power straight into that plug right there and I think it says charge it until it's fully lit and to know if it's fully lit it'll flash like so all lights up all bars are lit up um, I'm going to turn them off now so I don't, you know, he doesn't sit there and flash and beep. Okay, so there's this big rubber bumper. And let me put it down. And as you can see, it moves. And it's got this tacky feeling on it. And that's what it's called. It's its bump guard. That, that's what it's meant for. Um, it has sensors in that black strip. Um, and sometimes it'll do very well and it won't hit anything. And other times varying height and what it is um, I think it kind of learns over time I could be wrong on that but it's a really it's really mm -hmm. smart and it's really cool and there's nothing there but there's an exhaust it exhausts the air out the back from the vacuum and sorry for it being dirty I just actually used them so here's the back and you have this towel for like your hardwoods and pick up dirt and debris or on your carpet um, you have two motors that or two wheels that are ran off our motors and they have almost like a suspension so depending on so they'd be all the way up and then weight when weights put down they go down but then if it's varying on angles and like hardwoods and going on carpet it'll change um, here right here or did two base plates for the charging system so it has a dock station and that's these two right on it to charge and so it sits there here's the intake sorry for covering the light up there's the intake right there um, it's actually a vacuum so this will actually suck 
air in. It's actually really cool. Um, and then here's the brushes. So this is different than the Rumba, where the Rumba has these big br bristles, and it just kind of bristles it in. And I know that's probably not the right word to use, but with this, it actually is taking the Rumba idea and changing it a lot because these are way different. But it's kind of pushing all the debris into this this opening. And then this is sucking it up like a normal vacuum. So I'm going to actually let it run in a little bit and you guys will hear it. It sounds like a vacuum. I mean, obviously it is a vacuum. And it does a great job, by the way. So with this brush they give you... You want to clean those off every once in a while. And then there's these little sensors right there. And you want to clean those off. Um, they recommend that in, in the thing every once in a while. You can clean the wheels off, the brushes. And you get two extra brushes too, as I mentioned earlier. So you, if these were to get destroyed or whatever reason, or they get too bent, just replace them. And they're probably not expensive. I have no idea if they are. So overall... Great machine, really easy to use, and I'm going to show you. So what you do is you turn the power button on, and if if you just set it down, let's say there's a dirt spot right there, you just set it down and hit clean, and there he goes, and you can hear the vacuum working, and off he goes. So now we're just going to, I'm going to show you guys something, I can find the remote. This comes with a remote, up oh, here it is, and I have it set, sorry for the lighting, 1245, it's 1212. So when he goes to his base dock, normally when his battery dies, he will actually, here, let me turn him off, let me go home, let me show that real quick. So you hit the home button, which is right here, and the dock station's all the way over there, sorry for the lighting, give me a second. There you go. So there he is. So. His dock station's over there. He'll make it over there. So, you can either... So, so let's say you're home and you don't want to listen to him because he does make some noise. I mean, if you're watching TV or something, you got to turn the TV up. But what you can do is you can just hit the home button and he'll take off towards home and he'll dock and charge. But if, let's say, you're at work or you're gone and you have him set up for whatever time, he'll run around until his battery is almost dead and then he'll come back. It's not always 100% foolproof. Sometimes he'll get stuck. It just depends. I mean, it really, it really depends. He, it's very smart, but sometimes you come home and you got to put him on the dock. No big deal. Um, the center button for clean. So once he's docked, I can show you. So he's docked. He beeped. He's happy. The lights are flashing. Yep. See, they're flashing. And then we're gonna hit the clean button. He reverses out, and he goes. So, there's other features, like this one is a spot clean, so I could pick him up when he's off, and I could tell him to spot clean a spot, so if I hit that button, see he kind of stops, and he's going to do a circle, or he may do a circle, there you go, you hold it down, you hold it down for a couple seconds and see, like if there was a, if there was a dirt spot right there for whatever reason, he's cleaning that spot. Um, another cool thing is this is the edge feature. You don't really have to use it because he, he, I can't keep calling it he, his name's Kevin. That's what me and my girlfriend call him. And um, he actually does this on his own, but for whatever reason, if you're watching him and he's having problems, you can hit the edge button. I've never used it, so I don't know. So here's the plan. You can plan it, plan on what time and on the clock for whatever time it is. He's a really cool thing. Let me hit home. He's really cool, really easy to use. I mean, you're still going to need, you're definitely still going to need a, a normal vacuum cleaner because he's not going to get everything. I mean, technology's great, came a great way, but we're not, you know, it's not going to happen. So, we just bought a cheap little vacuum for our apartment, but I would say overall, for this product, for the price that you're paying, it is worth it compared to a Rumba. And a lot of people say it's better than a Rumba, but I have no idea because I do not own one, and I do not want to spend that type of money on one. Um, my neighbor has one. She loves it, the Rumba. She doesn't have the Beatles. I think, that, yeah, the Beatles series. Um, but if you, have a, if you have a girlfriend or maybe you shed a lot, like my girlfriend sheds a lot of hair, 
She's not gonna bald, but she sheds a lot of hair. Um, if, if if you know you bring in dirt, you turn him on. He comes on every day, and he picks up majority of like the walkway paths. I mean, yeah, he may not get like all the way up to the edge and everything, but a lot of the dirt, and then. You know, you just come over, let's say I get off of work, and I'm like, oh man, yeah, hard day. You know, come over, and I empty it out, and I go on. It's really, it's really nice. I mean, I would suggest this to anyone that has a, a, a dog, a cat. I mean, look at that. Yeah, it's nasty. But I mean, he just turns on. I mean, this this was already, a lot of this stuff was already here. We, we literally just moved into, so we're... Their stuff's kind of dirty, but I mean overall, for the hundred and forty dollars, you can't beat it. He will clean everything. He'll he'll try to get as best as he can. So if you have dogs, cats that shed, and most cat cats and dogs do, I would suggest buying this. I'm not endorsed to say that. I bought it on a whim because I didn't want to vacuum every day, and he takes care of that. And if you guys got any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. I'll be glad to answer him. Have a good day.